Hi and a very good day to everyone. In this video, I want to show you about how to create grid lines in Revit by using Dynamo. This step will help you create grid lines for your Revit project conveniently without any repetitive action or step that you need to do. Okay. So this script also can help you for your future project setup. Okay. So let's go first of all we i just click new and select the architecture template or you can select also your project template to set up your real project in revit then i click just click okay okay next you want to go to manage and then go to dynamo Then we click in. All right. The next step is we want to show or make visible of your project base point. Okay, because all the coordinate that we want to set up in Dynamo will be can be ref referred from the project base point. Okay, so go to VG in Revit. Go to site, and then you see project base point. Click on. Okay. So you can see here we have north south zero and east west zero elevation also zero so it, this will be our benchmark in typing in our code and coordinate in dynamo next step is go to un you want to make sure that what unit are your revit project in for example here i am using millimeters so i the unit that or the numbers that I want to type in Dynamo will be <coughs> in millimeter. So if you guys using the feed template or US Imperial, you can type in your feed format, maybe in two digits or something. So no need to type four digits. Okay. Okay. Now let's go. In this tutorial, I want to show you uh, two type or two methods to draw your grid lines in Revit using Dynamo. Okay, we start the first one. First one, we need two nodes. First, double click to open up your code block. Then, right click, search, <coughs> grid line. Then, by start point and end point. So, we need these two nodes. Okay, next step is, you can type first point and then by coordinates enter then you open up bracket first you type 0 because we want to start from here its base point is 0 okay or if you have any information about the project base point for your project then you can just type in and then after 0 You type in the final coordinates or final distance of our grid line. For example, I, here I want to draw until 80,000 millimeters from the base point. So here, 0, 0. So it will be 80,000 to the right of the project base point because it's positive number. It's negative, it will be 80,000 to the left. Okay, the next step. After key in your first coordinate and final coordinate for your grid line or final distance for your grid line, you need to type in the, your interval or grid interval. For example, here I just for from each grid, I want to take the 8000 millimeters or 8 meter from grid to grid. This then interval so i will type active 8000 millimeter so this will be the interval between grid and grid distance then comma <coughs> type in zero and also zero this is for the these last two digits is for the up and down of the direction of the point because here we 
we what we are doing is we doing the point or we draw the point setup or you, and then you can change also your dynamo run to manual okay okay so that we close the bracket or close the bracket first and then we break to the next okay this first line will be our start point of the point okay then second line we start for our second point location all right for second point location What you want to do is uh still save but we change the oh I missed the zero first the z axis okay want to see okay then you got two arrow here okay if you want to see our x x axis point start here and then click run can see this is our points location that we have set up in dynamo and coordinate zero means it start from here zero then we will have until it reach 80,000 millimeters it end will it will end there and then distance between the point will be or the interval will be 8,000 and then we, uh, about the first zero is about the distance of up and down <coughs> of the point from the base point for example if i type in 900 means up then we run you can see we push the And put zero again. Then the next step we want to create about the, the second line of point here. Then we want to connect the two point with lines or with grid lines. So here is still all the same, but up and down direction we want to go down to eighty thousand, for example. So we want to from all this is the same but we want to to draw it negative or down downwards from the project base point 80,000 and we click run you can see here we have the points you can also measure here 80,000 millimeters downwards from the project base points so this is the the fourth digit is all about the up and down direction of the of your points. Okay. Then we back. Then we can combine these two lines. This start and end. And then we click run. Okay. So we have drawn our grid lines simplest with the simplest step so you don't, you don't need to copy or multiple copy and type in the distance and also array with this template you can just get in what's your project information and then you can just get easily your grid lines arranged arrange in your private file and then how about the vertical grid Okay, the vertical grid here. Yeah. So I will show you about the second step or the second method. First, you can type in. First, we will use this grid by start point and end point of nodes. Also, you can just copy. Yes. Okay. Copy. 
copy then you type point by coordinate x y z or x y you can then also you want to create both equals it consists of two okay i'll show you first one then after that type in code block as usual code block and then we will we will use or we will key in the input by using number slider or <coughs> integer slider the first method we type in the code block right okay at first uh, we want to freeze this command first okay type your number slider rename it to grid numbers yep. then number slider again time for grid interval distance between each grid and then number slider again For the offset okay offset all right now basically we want to in use this number slider as our input for my second method then for code block we want to start with zero then put in the input of x and numbers of y to get the input of x and y so we have the option here to connect the nodes of the integer or number slider okay you know we want to for example for grid numbers we want to create 25 grid numbers Read between each each grid we get negative eight thousand because we want to we want it to go downwards so you want to create negative numbers here then for offset later on we can catch up with this okay first for the create number we goes to the x and then interval goes to the y means that you want to create numbers 25 to be arranged in x axis as, a, as the first point and then second input is create interval so x y is not the coordinate here it's just the input method so we create create numbers as x create interval x y so that's why we want to put the two input here and then we decide to arrange the coordinate in by using this point by coordinates node so we want to create a y axis y axis arrangement means that we want to create it downwards we want to we don't want to create it horizontally we want to do it vertically okay so that's why we pick the y axis and then if you try to click run okay why this line disappear because i just freeze my first command here you need to freeze first and then you can experiment with your second command or second method in dynamo so it will be not 
duplicate your first command <clears throat> okay so you can see here we create our first horizontal first vertically set of points then the next step we want to draw a line by connecting first point here and then the second point vertically here so so that we have done our y axis then for offset we can type in negative numbers for the x here why because we want to move it to the, more to the left of the project base point here okay so you, you don't want to the grid line to start at the bottom of the horizontal grid line so you want to move it outwards or to, to more towards to the left so we type in negative numbers here as the offset to the x axis then we click run see it will be it will move to more to the left so okay so now it's done properly and then the next step we want to create another set of these vertical line vertical points here to connect both all right still the same method still the same method you can just duplicate this is wicked but we need to change here we pick y all right <coughs> still the same meaning that we want to repeat here but it will be it will act as the end so you want to change where the offset here remember that first you move the x or the horizontal offsets to the left so it will in negative so it will move to the left so we want to create another at the end point here so the end point of our grid line is 80,000 right remember 80,000 so we just start in the 80,000 as our end point for the next set of vertical grid line okay right click run okay you see if it creates another one another set of vertical points so the next step our final step just like this we just connect between the two points here so the point here is the start then then as the end point here so this will be the end so this set of points will the line will, will draw from this set of points and end to this set of points from left to the right click run so it's done for our vertically break and then you can just unfreeze here and click run okay now you got your set of grid lines automatically and conveniently without much of a copying works or copying method so I hope this convenient and really helpful in your project setup in Revit. So that's all for me. Thank you for watching.